A Texas inmate was spared by Texas Governor Greg Abbott just minutes before he was scheduled to die by lethal injection on Thursday. Thomas Bart Whitaker's sentence was commuted to life in prison with no chance for parole for masterminding the fatal shootings of his mother and brother. Abbott accepted the state parole board's rare clemency recommendation. Whitaker's father, Kent, also was shot in the 2003 plot at the family's suburban Houston home but survived and led the effort to save his son from execution. I'm thankful not for me but for my dad, Bart Whitaker told prison officials after getting the word in a tiny holding cell a few feet from the death chamber. Any punishment that I would have or will receive is just, but my dad did nothing wrong. The system worked for him today. And I will do my best to uphold my role in the system provided by a local church in Huntsville when he got the news that his son would be spared. He said he was praying when his phone rang. It was one of his attorneys saying the governor commuted Bart's sentence. Earlier in the day, the father had traveled with his wife Tanya up to the Polunsky unit, where death row inmates are housed in Livingston. He didn't know if that meeting would be his last. We touched hands through the glass and we said our goodbyes, said Whitaker. This has been such an emotional thing. The seven-member Texas Board of Pardons and Paroles, whose members are appointed by the governor, recommended unanimously Tuesday that Abbott commute the sentence. Abbott, a Republican had the option of accepting the recommendation, rejecting it or doing nothing. Mr. Whitaker's father, who survived the attempt on his life, passionately opposes the execution of his son. Mr. Whitaker's father insists that he would be victimized again if the state put to death his last remaining immediate family member, Abbott said in a proclamation issued Thursday evening, adding that Whitaker had also agreed to waive all further rights to parole. Abbott, also citing the parole board's recommendation, added, the totality of these factors warrants a commutation of Mr. Whitaker's death sentence to life in prison without the possibility of parole. It was only the fourth time since the state resumed executions in 1982 that the parole board has recommended clemency within days of an inmate's scheduled execution. In the previous cases, then-Gov Rick Perry, also a Republican, accepted the board's decision in one case and rejected the other two, who subsequently were put to death in the nation's most active capital punishment state. Kent Whitaker said he was humbled and looked forward to hugging and touching his son. It was overpowering he said of the governor's decision, which he learned in a phone call from Keith Hampton, one of his son's lawyers. He and supporters were nearby the prison in a home used by inmate visitors and were standing and praying, Whitaker said. He put Hampton